Tethys is deep in thought. They fix me with an inquiring stare. Because inquiring murlocs want to know. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy. Gaming and in this episode, we are going to continue uh, we're working to get this uh, interceptor. So, a few of you told me in the comments that what I was supposed to do, and for whatever reason, this just wasn't apparent to me, uh, because it's not the usual thing, is that we look in the ship, and apparently we're supposed to take these things out of the ship. So... Um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And then... <clears throat> probe subconscious of the hyaline brain. Okay. We are probing the subconscious of the hyaline brain. I think. And that... What did that do? That gave us another place to go to, I guess. Okay. Um... What does this do now? All oh, right, we gotta make this pilot interface. So we have to make the harmonic brain. Okay. So why don't we, I guess we need to go to that new location there. How are we doing on our launch thruster fuel? We're doing good. Okay. This way. Oh. Wait a second. Uh, did did that thing just disappear? Yeah, it's no longer on my compass. Hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. Probe subconscious. Walker brain. So, okay, it doesn't do anything after you do it the first time. Um, yeah, I'm a little corn fuzzled. Oh wait, I think that yellow marker is where we're at, where we are, isn't it? Okay, let's land again. Maybe we need to talk to that autophage thingy again. Oh, we don't want an incoming storm. Go away. This planet sucks. Maybe we talk to this thingy. Okay. Nope. It just wants to tell us that it's the 8th. Repair. Yeah, we can't repair it until we find a harmonic brain. Okay, um... Let me... Let me think about this for a bit and see if I can figure out what I need to do. I'm not going to sit here and record me him and him and Han for God knows how long until I figure this out. So I will be back in, uh, when I figure it out. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so I just noticed there's an ancient site over here. And it does say in the lower right hand corner, the brain has yielded a memory of its ancient self. So let's go see what this is all about. 
This planet, uh, the terrain on this planet's not super friendly. And neither is the weather. Pillars of something or other, something or other. This ancient site, site, uh, site stirs as I approach. Stone scraping against stone, warmth radiates from the hyaline brain within my pack, as though in response. The mind of the ship child is interlocked with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies. Enmesh archival senti sentience with surrogate entity? Okay, uh, yeah, sure. Present the brain. I fumble with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably hot in my hands. The pain radiates far beyond my hands, an unearthly heat, a heat that mounts glass. Ouch. Ellipsis. Its circuitry shifts and then grows still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. We have now found ourselves a harmonic brain. Its status is docile because it's harmonic. Harnessed sentience. Very nice. Okay. There we go. That was not as complicated as, for whatever reason, my brain was making it out to be. So now we should be able to go back. Uh, this way. And repair the ship. All right, we got ourselves an interceptor, ladies and gentlemen, and it is an A-class. I think we'll be keeping it. Um, Anti-gravity well, repurposed sub-light drive. Area on shield, radiant defensive barrier, sent sentinel cannon, an interface, rocket launcher, and a phase beam. Okay. We're going to claim the ship. Now we can get into the ship. Let's go into first person view. Alright, let's um... These ships are so cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our freighter. So that, that seems to be like a pulse cannon, but f with a faster rate of fire. I don't know if it also does more damage than the pulse cannon, but it definitely seems like it's a bit, bit faster. I, I think, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, so let's land. And if we... I believe if we just leave this system, then our other ship will just automatically appear in the hangar. Okay, so does this have a warp drive? Suborbital engine. So that must be like the launch thruster. Sublight drives, that must be like the pulse drive. Yeah, pulse jump capability. Uh, raw optic organ suspended above. It gazes down this space of line. FTL. Okay, so that's our hyperdrive. This is our shield. That's our cannon. That's the pilot interface thingy. And then this is just normal phase beam and rocket launcher. All right, cool. Um, So, why don't we... something I love that <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> it's give, gives us like a a virtual version of the outside or a projected version or I don't know however you want to say that okay yeah so let's go ahead and travel I mean well we got to figure out what we're gonna actually do next 
Um, I'm pretty stoked that we found a class A on our first, what? A class A on our first, um, Sentinel ship. It's not, it's not the coolest looking Sentinel ship, but hey, it's, it's, it's not ugly either. And it's a class A. That's the important thing. Uh, all right. So let's do this. Let's charge you with. Really? Technology recharge. Oh, neat! You can so you can charge your you can charge your hyperdrive with crimson cores. That's awesome. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna think about something here for a minute. Let's go. Let's grab our our ship upgrades because I've been hanging on to those for when we. Finally got a, an upgraded ship. So we have seven, uh, seven storage aug augmenta uh, augmentations. Blech. <laughs> What's the matter with my mouth? Um, those are cargo bulkheads and salvage frigate modules. Yeah, okay. What does this do? Oh, that's an expansion slot. Okay. Is it, do Can we just... Wait. We just use this now. Quick transfer, move, and sack. No, I think we have to do that, like in a space station or something. All right, I want to put the pugnium in here. Those guys will stack to give us a little more room. We'll put the walker brains in there. The tainted metal. Where am I keeping that? Probably over here. Yeah. We can sell this uh, or use it as a currency for the junk vendor dude. Okay. I'm going to consider Atlant Atlanta Diem. An alien item and probably the inverted mirrors as well I want to keep a stack of these with us because that's our warp fuel for the Sentinel or at the very least we should put these in the Sentinel inventory what does So you also use radiant shards to charge the pulse drive and anti-gravity well. Oh, nice. Okay, so radiant shards will charge all three of those things. Fantastic. And friggin' fantastic. Maybe we should. Put these in too. And I might I might um farm some more of this stuff up now that I know uh, that we need it for those purposes okay so um, what we're gonna do is we're going to let's go to the space station first the thingy right yeah it did okay now let's go to the ship and upgrade the starship fly augmentations uh, first we will get all the tech slots upgraded uh, well okay that gives us three how many more argumentations do I have? Five. Okay. This thing's worth 54 million. <laughs> That's crazy. Why argumentation? So 
So what we could do is, since we have this one here, we could put four more here. I kind of don't like having these holes here, but that's not that big of a deal, really. Yeah, I think that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Maybe we'll patch this hole here. Okay, good. So we started the fourth row in the tech slot and patched that hole. I mean, the ship still has a decent amount of storage space, even with, you know, where it currently is. Oh, that's a supercharged slot too. Okay, so we have three supercharged slots. I'm assuming that this doesn't do anything other than just let us actually use the ship. Okay, so now the next question is... I've got to think about this. And while I do that, I'm going to run around in circles because that helps me think. Not really. I'm bullshitting all of you, but I don't know. I just felt like saying it. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Uh, so I, have to, I guess I have to decide if I want to take stuff off of my solar ship look at that ship that's a cool cool solar ship it's a C class um you know to to get our reforged and I like that name too I think we'll just keep it kit it out or if we want to leave the solar ship as is because I really like the performance of it and build all new stuff for this ship. Which I think that's probably what's going to happen. Alright. So let's go ahead and... warp to a different system and then we'll call our freighter to us. And that should pull our, our other ship then too. I don't know if those are faster than normal pulse drive or not. I could be completely wrong about that. Um, you know, this ship definitely does not have the maneuverability of the other one at this point, but that's of course to be expected because it doesn't have all the modules on it. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is Let's go back to the system that has our settlement in it. And we'll, we'll just check up on them. Data injection sequence received, source unknown. Oh. Gra? Blah, 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 blah. Interloper. That's me. Death to Zuni. The transmission is cut off before the message can be completed. The fragmented hologram that flickered on my starship communicator was a citizen of the planetary settlement, of which I am the overseer. They were greatly, uh, they were clearly in great distress. I let the settler know I have heard them, though I received only the harsh alarms of the sentinels in reply. Does it just mean we're having a sentinel attack, or is there something more significant than that going on? Ooh, frame rate. I think it's just your usual like anomalous sentinel forces detected. Okay. What is anomalous? I mean, compared to anything else. Man, the frame rate is terrible. Hold still so I can shoot you. My frame rate's like... Well, just bad. Whatever it is, it's bad.
Oh man, this is really hard to fight right now because I have like maybe 15 frames a second if even that. I can't freaking get a beat on him. Oh, he's got a healer. I was going to say, why is he not dying? Because of this bastard. Okay. Shit. Alright. I got him, finally. Oh, shit. There's a big boy. Woohoo. Where is he? This is really hard to do, man. With the frame rate so low. Yeah, definitely want to get rid of his ass. I don't know, do healing sentinel drones have asses? <laughs> Not sure. can't get to me and he can't hurt me either sucks to be him reload okay um there's another one over here. Is it a big one or a little one? We got him. Okay. Wow. I mean, I'm, the frame rate's just kind of wigging me out, man. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Give me a freaking headache. Okay, the icon thingy's over here. Hey, what are you doing up there? We've already received the anomalous broadcast. Oh, wait, did we? I don't know, maybe we didn't. Hey, that looks like one of the Murloc dudes from uh, World of Warcraft. Iteration Tethys. Oh yeah, he's the guy that's on the um, on the anomaly. This terminal is fascinating. It's recorded all sorts of data about you and these settlers. I can see they've been <coughs> well. That's not the point. I have shut down your little major domo for now. Robots cannot be trusted. Not with what I have to tell you. Settlement major domo disabled. Unable to exit. Advise. Demand answers. Well, let's just see what he has to say. Anyone with their eyes open could see a sentinel spike of that magnitude, even if they weren't spying on you. What happened? Did they leave any interesting tidbits behind? See what you can find and then come to the anomaly. I have to know more. Signal your agreement. Override frequency detected. Uh, okay. Sure. Iteration Tethys is curious about the Sentinel activity at your settlement. Search the battlefield debris for clues about the attack. Settlement status is uneasy. It's because the frame rate's terrible. When your frame rate's bad, you're uneasy. Okay. Alright, so we're supposed to look for clues after the battle. Alright, 
so we did some fighting over here. We got more of these thingies. Undamaged drone shell. The shell of a sentinel drone. All that remains after its destruction in combat. While the exterior is physically intact, its internals have been severely burned. Given the right tools and several exotic components, you may it may be possible to repair it. Okay. Is that what he's looking for? The mission must have placed these here. So I don't think I missed that many of these. Or maybe I did. Okay, so he wants us to, to just go meet with him. All right, well, what we're going to do, actually, let's go back over and see what the progress is of this other building that we're making. Put my light on there. That's, wait a minute, is it done? That was this building here, wasn't it, that we built last time? Oh, I don't remember. No, it was this place. Yeah, this is new. Oh, we got a terminal here, too. Look at that. Very useful. Okay. Art frame engine. Nice. Okay, so I think... Let's go back in here for a second. No, this isn't our office. Where's our office at? Can never find that damn place. It's over here. That guy's still walking on the top of our thing there. Okay, so there's no pending decisions. Gotcha. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to call our freighter here. teleport to our freighter and hopefully that'll fix our frame rate issue because it happened when we came down here hope it doesn't happen all the time when we come down here now nah, it's it's bad up here too I just want to confirm that our solar ship is back on board. It should be. Uh, is it? I don't see it over here. It is not. Hmm, I thought... I thought if we moved to a different system, then it show, showed up. Wait, is that it? A class. Okay, well, um, then what we're gonna do Dance of the Fujoik. Let's go ahead and call the anomaly over and go talk to that dude and see what he has to say for himself. I mean, absolute worst case scenario, I know I can, you know, call the solar ship to us. Oh, we gotta do our frigates too. Okay, well, here. Let's go 
Go out this way. We might be too close to the planet for this thing to come in. Oh, there it goes. Shows that he's over there. Uh, can we go up here? Yeah. I couldn't remember where where he was. He looks like a murloc. I know I already said that, didn't I? Whoop. That's not me getting in your personal space, dude. That's just my terrible frame rate. Tethy scans the room, their narrow eyes darting rapidly back and forth. After a slight hesitation, they erupt in a flurry of excitement. Deceit, imposters, betrayal, suspicion. They have eyes everywhere, traveler. Eyes everywhere. Ellipsis. But I'm not without my own methods. My network sees much of its own. But first, tell me in your own words exactly what happened at your settlement. Um, apparently there were new sentinels, but my frame rate was so bad I kind of didn't notice a whole lot. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Hmm, they have never shown mercy to those who try to build on planets. It is a constant. But this is new, unexpected. We must learn more. Reveal the recovered drone shell. Tethys holds the drone in their hands, gently turning it over and over with a softness I had not anticipated. Forgive me, Traveler. They have chased me for so long, but I have never seen one so close. Perhaps this one is our key. I could restore it, remap its mind, our own link to the Infernal Hive. Yes, yes. It would only take a few new components, and guess what? I get to go get them, don't I? I shall begin at once. See what you can source from the others. From the others. What others? What are you talking about? Speak to the other traveler iterations. Is he talking about like... Yeah, he must be. Okay. So I guess we talk to this guy. Iteration Mercury. He kind of looks like a very skinny pink orc from World of Warcraft. I'm just saying. Uh, do we find you well... Do we find you well? Oh, do we find you well, portal adept? Explain Tethy's plan. Those drones are not the malicious force some imagine them to be, portal adept. I believe the sentinels to be a vital life-preserving function of the cosmos. I am heartened that Tethy begins to see sense. He does? Not sure that's what he was thinking, but I don't know. I will give you this phylactery. It holds a whisper of the eth ether, ether, it flows within the portals. Tethys will understand how to make use of it. We have a portal phylactery. Okay. Speak to... Oh, we have to speak to three more. Iteration Ariadne. Almost like a cat from World of Warcraft. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, Ariadne's face seems to swim as I stare at them. Okay. If you say so. I shake my head and clear my vision. Focus. Ariadne may have the things Tethys needs to restore the drone. Explain Tethys' plan. Why would I have anything like that? I don't know. They begin to cough. They seem ill. Are you okay? Apologies. I have not been myself lately. I do not think I can help you. Like Traveler. Uh, okay. Kind of rude, but whatever. Speak to other Traveler iterations. So I guess those guys aren't considered iterations. This one is. Iteration Gemini. Gemini nods thoughtfully, seemingly lost in some strange calculation. Reveal Tethys' plan. Tethys is doing what a... What? To a Sentinel drone? <laughs> My friend, this is madness. The robots are not our friends. Explain the dr drone may be rescued. 
My eyes long for beauty, Traveler, but these sentinels are unthinking parasites, tearing down everything that may elevate us. Ellipsis. But, but, you are, I suppose, building something new, taking that cursed shell and constructing something better. I will help you, but please keep safe. Take my nanite filament that your drone may remember me when it, it awakes. We have a nanite filament. Okay. Now we need to talk to one more iteration. Um... Oh, this one. Hesperus. Hesperus smiles, happy to see me. Hi, Hesperus, I'm happy to see you too. Reveal Tethys plant. Oh, Kindred, be careful. Even with the best intentions, we can make such mistakes. The blood of Sentinels, it brings only lies. Does Polo know what you are doing? It would be both considerate and wise to let them know. Specialist Polo. You are building something, friend? Yes, I recognize it in you. Explain about the drone. You are brave, traveler, friend. You always have been brave. Uh, okay. You may tame your little robot. You may not. But it will always be made of glass. It cannot exist in our home. Take these beads. Yes, it will help to bind them to you. You will be a good robot master. Beads of glass. Okay, provide the components to Tethys. Tethys is deep in thought. They fix me with an inquiring stare. Because inquiring murlocs want to know. <laughs> Hand over components. This handful of junk is what they gave you? No help at all. What? Oh well, I can make it work. You just said it was no help at all. Tethys takes the damaged sentinel shell and my components. With them, the strange metallic being is reconstructed. Just let me... Here. Nearly. Aha! It's alive! Or, am I, or I'm fairly confident it would be if it weren't for Polo's suppression fields. His system readout just keeps repeating the word glass. You'll have to take it away from here for a field test. Okay. Traveler. Take care of it, won't you? Rare item found. Sentinel flare off. Sentinel communicator. A specialist device created by Iteration Tethys. Its primary function is to hail your reconstructed Sentinel drone. Select the device and use activate flare to signal the drone. While this flare is active in your exosuit inventory, the drone will stay by your side while planet side. Well, how about that? We just got ourselves a drone companion. A sentinel companion, no less. Was not expecting that to happen. It's kind of cool. All right, guys. Well, I think what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here. Um, I got to reboot anyways because this frame rate's just killing me. And what we'll do is... I, I'm actually... Honestly, I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next episode. But we'll figure something out. Uh, there's a lot to do. We gotta work on the main quest still. Uh, in other words, working towards the center of the universe. I am planning on You know what? Before I let you go, we should really actually go down and try out our new pet. Uh, anyways, what I was saying is I am planning on finding a really cool planet and building a really cool base at some point in this series. I want to do Dreams of the Deep. Um, and, of course, you know, keep working on the on the settlement quest line here, because I know eventually we're going to get a Minotaur out of the deal. And then, I don't know, it, it's just kind of, you know, the thing about No Man's Sky, and this is not a bad thing at all. In fact, it's one of the cool things about the game. So we don't we don't have to do anything in particular. We can do all kinds of different things. And so we shall continue doing all kinds of different things. However, those things that I did mention to you are things that I am planning on, tentatively planning on at least, uh, doing 
as we continue this series. All right, before I let you go, let's go ahead and do this. Ooh. Reconstructed drone. Um, the reconstructed drone appears functional. Inspect the drone with E to conduct further tests. Fault detected. Reverting. What the hell does that mean? Core cognitive functions available. Higher processing. Disabled. Kazit. Fix Kazit of the Kazit. Glass, 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 glass! Input required. Select restart routine. Do flash cache? Um. Okay, let's purge his memory. Memory access denied. Oh, okay. He didn't like that, did he? Locate update signal acquired. Sent Sentinel pillar node detected. Coordinates locked. Awaiting networking proximity. Download coordinates. Okay, so we've got to go to a sentinel pillar. The sentry, uh, the sentry has locked on to a set of coordinates. Search the marked location to learn more about the reconstructed drone. So will this guy, like, carry stuff for me and shoot for me? He's got a couple of guns in front of him. Like, help me with combat and stuff? It's kind of cool. I didn't even know about this. Honestly, didn't know about it. Maybe it's maybe it's something new, you know, with the latest update, or maybe I just never knew about it. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, all right, guys. Well, it is time to wrap up this episode. So when we start the next episode, we will do something, and we'll figure out what that is when the time comes. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment to share the video, and we'll catch you you in the next episode. See ya.